test as an exam. It will be online. Okay, you understand? Yeah. As you are coming to my class, uh, as as the assignment that I am sending to you, it will be like this. I will put these powerpoints on your screen, and you will do every question. Then I will go to the next. For every question, you will have probably 15 minutes. After you are finishing, you tell me that you finished, and I will go to the next question. You understand? Maximum 15 minutes for every question. Around six, six questions will be. Is okay? Okay, which chapters? That we did already. Uh, the supply, demand. Uh, demand theory of demand and utility that we are going to exercise today a little bit. Okay. okay. In our, I will do next after next week because I want to do it early as you don't uh, enlarge and increase these uh, topics. Uh, this will be maybe more easy for you to follow up. But then we will start to do the rest. Okay. Is there? Yes. You are yes. If you want, I can do one week later. You tell me, then I will do it. Yeah. Yes. You, you know, during the class, it's not a problem with your PowerPoint. Maybe the same thing we do in that week. Tell me. The, during our classes, we had a problem with your PowerPoint. So maybe we'll have the same problem in that week. So can you tell me? No, no. For PowerPoints, I will always apply quit and apply for every every paper every slide because sometimes it is freezing because of the system it is not moving easily but last week it was moving isn't it it was moving and we will see this week also i don't see it, i don't think that it is a problem for you if there is a problem then uh, can, we will we make, find the can we make it nine from nine can we make what from at nine, nine. Oh, yes, on Wednesday from nine to eleven because we had we have I have class up from twelve. From nine to eleven. Yeah. You want, I can do it, but or if you want, I can play. I can do it after two or three, as you wish. No, we have. If you have us, are you colleagues? Oh, you, you don't join every classes. You, you have to stay only for this at 10 to 11, one hour, one and a half, 11.30. Then you will join to the other, or you will request the PowerPoints from the other uh, course instructor. Okay. No problem. I don't think it will be a problem because if some start coming <laughs> early, then it will be a problem. Okay. Let me start to class. Okay. Is it? Is it? Okay. Uh, you have to inform. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman is online. I think. I think. Abdurrahman is online now. Join us now. Abdurrahman Yebo. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, next week uh, on ten at on 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 Wednesday at ten. Uh, a test so you online okay you have to class if you don't then you miss 30 points because it is uh, it will be around 30 points is clear Rahman, is it clear if you are not here me you write me please easy tell me Hatija. please easy questions is easy question of course i no, do everything what we did because what? we don't want to dd we want to pass very well no, I know. I will try to do my best. Don't worry. Okay, I am so uh, your AA. side. I am on your side. What is it? <laughs> we want AA. <laughs> okay. Oh, you all want AA. <laughs> I want also. Okay, let's start. Okay. Okay. Okay, hard. Um. Okay, you are seeing now the class, the PowerPoints. Yes, I think you need, you, yes. yes. I, I am in the first page, conferences and the concept of the UT. 
you are seeing the first page yes yes you see it's okay when 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 not too cloud uh, too, too much students online okay on outline of this class i have to give you information that i am going to give you the consumer preferences because we are in the micro uh, the, uh, demand side we are always concentrating to the demand side the consumer preferences the consumer utility how we are going to increase and enlarge the welfare of the um, uh, consumer preferences and utility as you know it is one of the important problem in economics because we are not only concentrating to the profit or to the uh, so-called um, uh, supply side but the demand side we are concentrating therefore in micro as you know the demand is mostly concentrated to the preferences of the uh, consumers and the utility function which we are trying to increase and enlarge the um, satisfaction and the indifference curve the marginal rate of substitution and special function forms that we are going to exercise in this class Okay, supply and demand models are useful for analyzing economic questions concerning market. How will increasing the real wage affecting output? And in these models, we assumed and we summarized as the individual's demand to obtain the market demand curve in this direction. But we want to know how to determine this demand capacity, how we are going to determine this welfare problem to increase and enlarge the consumers is in good. need to do individual and the consumer preferences and behavior how is going to be enlarged and increase the welfare is in we are trying to enlarge is the utility the individual test or preferences determine the amount of pleasure people derive from goods and services charging this even the consumer preferences faces some constraints, some budget constraints that we are accessing because as you know, most of the consumers are in wages or the salaries that they are uh, holding in the hand, how they are going to this regarding to their uh, preferences and needs. And the consumer maximize their well-being or pleasure from consumption subject to the constraint they faced. You are observing and following this uh, slide four. Uh, slide part. Yes, description. Good. It's if you good. don't, then it's okay. You can download the PowerPoint from there or either is possible. The courses tell us the consumer would rank any two basket of goods assuming these allotments were available to the consumer at no cost and basket or bundle is a collection of that an individual might con p plus P with Q multiplied is equal or is less than income that we are holding in the hands. This will be exercised in the following uh, uh, When we are looking to the preferences, pre properties of this consumer preferences, we have some assumptions. The first one, the first assumption is directly related with the complete of the consumer preferences. Either these preferences are complete if the consumer can rank any two basket of goods because we are trying to uh, analyze this in this aspect. If A is supposed to be strictly preferred to B, then E is supposed to be A is the, of course, uh, element of B and strictly preferred to B. B, if B is strictly preferred to A, then is B is supposed to be element to A, then the difference between A and B can be illustrated as A is supposed to be equal or is uh, somehow similar to B. The transitivity is the of this uh, direction, then 
parents are sensitive if a consumer who prefer basket A to B or basket to C also prefer to the basket A C can be for A prefer to B and B prefer to A, then we may conclude that both a is also going to be in C to C can be replaced. The monotonic, it is supposed to the properties of the preferences as monotonic is a basket with more of at least one of the original basket. Predisposal can be worse of more the more is better assumption is also here real also known as the property of non-stationary something went more of and we are not looking at that in the pollution because assumptions to is could as you are understanding of course the important because at least one good and many good is preferred form. Here the preference is illustrated as you are on uh, um, uh, pointed here A B Am I the only one that can't hear anything? No. No, we also can't hear anything. I think he left the class. What's happening? Maybe his internet or something.
What now? Hussein? Shall we text him? I think like that because we are waiting him up to now and he's not coming back. No, and something must have happened because he was explaining and then nothing. Yeah, he, you know, he used to do, he used to quiet then come back, quiet come back. Now he's not coming back. <laughs> I think he has internet issues. That's maybe, why. Maybe. Most probably, yeah. Mm.
Can you hear me now? Yes, I think you are hearing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because the, I think somebody is also presented here and it is uh, pushing me out. I don't know who is this because you should only become as a participant, not presenter. If you put, press the presenter button, I will be pushed out. I will be excluded. Therefore, you should carefully follow this. Then I can uh, join this meeting. I am the, of course, uh, your presenter. Anyway, I will. I will go further. Now the, uh, the now the video is not coming. Mm, that's the problem. I am I am downloading uh, opening this uh, video again. Do you hear me? Are you listening me? Shall I have to go on? Yes, Sir John, we are here. Okay. You able to see this? See this? Um, you are seeing PowerPoints, these slides? No, 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 John. No, I am. I. You are watching me only. Uh, still not. No. No. Mm. It says you are seeing. Maybe you will see now. What about now? Not yet. You see? No, Hoja. Not yet. Yes, we can see now. You are seeing, yes, because system uh, coming slowly, I think there is a problem with the game. Yes. Okay. Let's go. I said to you, we have two uh, different uh, products, clothes and food, and the combination of this can be uh, differently allocated as you are seeing on this graphic. And when we are looking to this intensity and age of any given combination that is important for determining their preferences, it is supposed to be when the people ages differently uh, realize their intensity choices so changing regarding their age and the subject they are using. And when we are looking to the ordinal and cardinal ranking, ordinal ranking as, as, as we uh, uh, already done in our last lecture is the information on how a consumer ranks good, but does not say how much. 
or how many or how 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 you are going to going to uh, get and cardinal ranking is the information on the intensity intensity of the consumer preferences as the basket uh, 10 times more than b for example the basket b therefore this is somehow the comparison between two the other one is only the ordering and of course the timing is uh, subjected we didn't do this class isn't it students take an exam after the exam the students are ranked according to their performances as ordinal ranking list the students in order their performances harry did best joe did the second betty did the third blah blah it goes like this and the cardinal gives the grade of the exam based on their numbering as a mathematical illustration in here got 50 got 100 and joe did the second best second time better than harry compare uh, uh, definitely and concretely and uh, solidly the utility function as you know is the measure of the level of satisfaction that the consumer receives any basket of goods as you are understanding utility function is equal to the uh, uh, given amount of product which is in the market and it can be uh, illustrated as the utility function is equal to the function of is in bracket x1 x2 x3 it goes to xn there are many products which is in the market and of course you are already ready to get any of these uh, products regarding to your preferences and of course taste and since it is uh, concentrated to the ordinal and cardinal ranking then you are of course again putting this into your uh, list as the first runner second runner third runner for, uh, like this then you are ordering and of course uh, counting your taste your quality and your other um, interest the utility function is of course is the magnitude of uh, utility have no interpretation as it is illustrated in the graphic as i have so you, you can uh, differently put this utility regarding to your preference it cannot be of course uh, precisely illustrated as it is in the uh, graphic shown it is depending to you totally your preferences your capacity your let's say uh, capital amount your income everything is uh, concentrated utility is not comparable across the individuals because you are alone one person and you have your own preferences and every person has his own color has his own taste or her taste and quality standards therefore we are not able to compare and tell he is better or she is uh, not good or every person has his own taste and of course preferences therefore we are not able to compare everybody's preferences and uh, judging regarding to their um, uh, uh, interest then utility function is illustrated as it is indicated on the graphic you are obsessed with utility function or sees function you see this you are observing graphic yes we are. okay then yes. we have here the consumption of muffins of course the utility which is going to uh, offered with these muffins as you know muffins mostly of course dependent to the people who are of course like some uh, sugar and sometimes it cannot be directly related with people who are not uh, preferring and buying this but every product has his own utility standard and it goes to the optimal points where here it is illustrated around two the total unit sorry total utility of muffins and of course the consumption of muffins is directly parallelly uh, related and as much as you are shifting this to the maximum the utility function will be realized as u utility is the function of y power of five is the function is given in this example and then of course estimation and calculation for this uh, uh, product 
every product has its own utility function utility uh, equation therefore we have this utility estimation regarding to this uh, utility preferences and changes uh, on time and as much as you are increasing and enlarging your uh, consumption probably the utility will reach to the maximum points and then after this then it comes to the uh, uh, negative or it is starting to reduce and become less and less therefore we have to determine how much we have to consume and uh, where are you go you're going to consume it the utility function is of course means after this explanation there is a marginal utility which is related to the every next utility changes that you are going to add to your uh, basket will probably increase up to a limit then you will have this maximum points therefore the marginal utility can be uh, define as the rate at which the total utility changes as the level of consumption rises and as much as you are increasing it it is going to be smaller smaller and then you will then of course reaching to the optimal then you will start to become negative or not tasting it anymore this is something like that you are drinking water the first drink is probably the maximum optimal utility offer to you then of course every next drink or eat will of course reduce your desire to eat or drink this this is not thirsty anymore because you fill up with water or you fill up with uh, let's say food then you have the maximum point and you say that, okay this is much for me i don't want anymore and if you are insisting to consume or eat or whatever it is then it goes negative and it causes you negatively and of course reduces utility and of course uh, um, differences will become into the negative direction. Therefore, marginal utility can be illustrated as the delta U over delta Y, which means the utility every next uh, consumption of Y or X will reduce depending to your consumption amount and every next step or of this is come less and less up to the maximum point. The marginal utility of Good X, the additional little more of X when the consumption all the other goods in the consumer basket remain constant. This means then delta U over delta X. If Y Y is holding constant, then marginal utility of X is supposed to be delta U divided to delta X is then of course uh, depending to the change in the X. As much as you are changing x, then it's of course going to be increased. Suppose y is constant, because if you have two two goods of basket, then you have to concentrate only to the x changes. And if we are concentrating to the uh, y, then the marginal utility of y, then the marginal utility of y will be then of course delta u over delta y, which means the delta u changing the utility. Uh, increase or decreasing depending to your consumption and of course level will be divided to the delta y which is going to be the every next uh, consumption added to your basket will then increase and enlarge your utility or of course decreasing amount of increases subjected here the marginal utility of x is the slope of the utility function with respect to x as you know it is of course at the same time when you are taking two points of any line then you have this, of course, slope. The principle of the diminishing marginal utility is then, then of course, the marginal utility falls as the consumer consumes more of goods. This means that as much as you are consuming more of X, the utility or its, its uh, satisfaction is decreasing amount increase up to the maximum point is, is the meaning of this the marginal utility is illustrated as as you know with this indifference curve and when we are looking to this marginal utility of muffins with the weekly consumption as you see this diminishing marginal utility is a positive marginal utility means a like or good like a good otherwise you would get zero or perhaps negative marginal utility it is depending totally to you how you are going to replace between x and y towards to your 
preferences and as much as you are consuming more muffins probably the, its utility as you see it is decreasing and as you get the first as i said to you for the water the first uh, drink for water probably the highest satisfaction is offered and the every next uh, consumption as you see observing here it is decreasing the utility but increasing the consumption this doesn't mean that you have too much something will give you the highest satisfaction it is of course the vice versa you are not satisfying yourself when you are having this here is of course three dimensional utility is illustrated for y x and utility is of course given in this diagram the utility y as you see is supposed to be a between x and y and the utility is for here is in this illustrated this utility is of course is the indifference curve for the given combination and for x and y you can put b also which is four to four and for c as you are observing x is enlarged and y is reduced but the utility is still same as it is illustrated with two-dimensional and as much as you are increasing or for increasing this utility you have to either reduce any of these good prices or you have to increase your income for shifting your utility function to the higher level to the utility x, x so to say utility six for utility eight or utility ten you understand you are following you observe this graphic you have seen this graphic now you are yes, seeing this okay good yes. i hope it is not interrupting again Okay, then the indifference curve, as, as we illustrated it for three-dimensional graphic, then we are observing similarly here, there is the indifference curve, which is, of course, depending to your budget constraint, budget line, and this budget line should be tangent to this indifference curve for getting the uh, optimal or maximum uh, satisfaction regarding to your or preferences isn't it as you are observing here the indifference curve a b and c points giving the similar satisfaction to the product uh, to the consumer regarding to his or her income capacity and when we look to the indifference map which is illustrated in the three dimensional diagram the indifference uh, curve or map so called is the bundle of two goods let's say food and clothing and it is of course changing regarding to the price changes or the income changes as much as you are changing the price you will have more of something x or y or x or y because if the price of any of these two goods is going to be reduced will then of course shifting your preferences towards the other or if it is increased then if of course it is reducing and increasing the others depending to your preferences therefore either your income should be increased to shift your indifference curve to the upper level to the u6 or you have to change your preferences regarding to your uh, price changes regarding to the market price changes of these two goods when we look the indifference curve and maps the indifference curve or indifference set is the set of basket of for which the consumer is in, uh, having any different preferences means you have the similarities and you have the same uh, satisfaction when you move along this curve and indifference curve illustrate a set of indifference curve for consumer it is an all ranking not cardinal ordinal ranking and when we are looking to the properties of this indifference curve again that we have done in the start of this class the monotonicity is the indifference curve that have negative slope which is negative because you move along this curve will reduce it x will be reduced towards to y or y will reduce towards to x then it's of course you have to reduce something to get something Therefore, indifference curve is negatively uh, uh, related or proportional between these two products. And transitivity, indifference curve, not crossing each other, as we always mentioning this. Every indifference curve has his own properties and, of course, standards. Therefore, every indifference curve not crossing each other. 
And the completeness, of course, as I mentioned uh, in the first uh, uh, page, each basket lies only on one indifference curve and not in others. Every basket lies on the only one indifference curve. This is the uh, property so-called uh, for the uh, indifference maps. And the averages prefer to extreme the indifference curve are both towards to the origin because it is convex to the origin because you reduce something to get something. This is then, of course, coming from this. As much as you are reducing, let's say y, you will get always more and more x. This is why it is convex. As much as you are reducing y, x will become more and more. And as you are seeing, it is becoming probably towards to the origin where it is going to be the highest. And the monotonicity is the consumers where like bought goods is illustrated here. As I said to you, to meet monotonicity, the preference curve must be in this area. As it is, as I mentioned to you, it is downward sloping. It should be towards to the Y or towards to the X axis where the foot and clothing is illustrated and at that point where the A is supposed to be probably is less preferred because it is not giving any different preferences regarding to this is then of course the preference curve must be in this area where it is upper part or the lower part of this A where it is supposed to be equally distributed at that point A. And then we are moving uh, to the monotonicity for this clothing it cannot be thick because if it is thick as you see there will be different point on this line as, as it is indicated on the graphic a and b you are seeing also this graphic a and b and this of course if indifference curve is such thick then between a and b there is a different uh, preferences and different uh, let's say indifference curves which is not uh, realized on the same level therefore if it is thick, then this will give you a different combination of goods and uh, uh, products, which is, of course, uh, not uh, at the same uh, proportion. Uh, it cannot be thick. The utility function is, of course, can be realized differently at A and B. Therefore, you have to get this indifference curve as a line, not a thick illustrated uh, curve. Uh, indifference curve cannot crossing each other, as I mentioned to you, because since you look, if you are looking to the indifference curve 1 <clears throat> and indifference curve 2, you are observing there is A and B, and B is higher than A, isn't it? You are seeing this graphic. Are you able to see the graphic 25? The page 25, this slide. Then here you see this, I think, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Suppose that B preferred to A because B is higher than A. But if it is intersecting each other at C, this means the indifference curve 1 and indifference curve, curve 2 are equal, which is not, isn't it? Because after C, it goes down the indifference curve 2. Therefore, it cannot be possible to illustrate and uh, show this indifference curve two intersection uh, line where C is the intersection point cannot be realized because B preferred to A as it is illustrated in the above part and the B indifferent to C is supposed to be and A indifferent to C is supposed to be B indifferent to A by the transitivity and contradiction B should be preferred to A due to monotonicity therefore from this intersection point, everything will be collapsed and it will become not uh, valid anymore. It's not uh, acceptable. When we are looking to the completeness, each basket lies on only one indifference curve. Only one indifference curve, and you will always prefer on one good over the other. So you have to prefer any of these, not the 
for good A and B, you will either prefer A over B or B over A. Therefore, you have the utility, you have the preferences. You will get more utility or satisfaction consuming one of the goods over the other. Therefore, you have to use to define the, the uh, given uh, uh, options. As it is illustrated here, the averages prefer to extremes. You cannot create this satisfaction by shifting your budget constraint where it is intersect A and B and tangent to D in difference curve to at point 0.5 A and 0.5 B. And this is then, of course, as you are observing in difference curve 2 is, of course, giving the highest satisfaction comparing to the yeah. indifference curve yeah. 1. Yes, please. We cannot see the yes. notes. You are not able to see this? No. Really? No. It stops? Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay, I quit and come again. Let's see. You should see now. How about now? Sometimes it's freezing. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Is it okay? It's not, not yet. It will come, I think, because of the distance. You will come. You are seeing now. Tell me when you mm -hmm. see. No. You should see. I think somebody is quitting yes. and coming. And when, if somebody com comes and goes, it is interrupting our system. Therefore, you should stay online, not going away. You go and come, and the, or some collapse system may be causing us also some problem. And you are now, as I said to you, A and B is less than C, so called the 0.5 A and 0.5. 5p, where the point C is not illustrated, yeah, but it is C, is higher than A and B, and of course, here, as you are observing, A and B is uh, less than C, or so-called combination of 0 0.5 and 0 0.5b and A, uh, points where it is tangent to the indifference curve, too. And in this direction, you are always preferring the a combination of this C point where it is not illustrated here, which is A and B combination is 0 0.5 uh, points uh, realized, and it is always higher than A and B, and it should be tangent to the indifference curve and, of course, budget line together for getting the expected higher uh, satisfaction. When you are looking to this indifference curve, which is vertical lines, the indifference curve, illustrated here, the complete each line on one line, transitivity, no cross, and of course monotonic, no negative slope, the preference direction is supposed to be illustrated here, which is not, of course, uh, usually realized. And when you are looking at the next graphic, And here we are having here the completeness, yes, the transitivity also, but monotonic is not realized because there is no negative relation. Want as much x as possible, but don't care about y, isn't it? Because we want x, but y is here is not crossing. There we don't have any preferences regarding to this. So same x and more y are not better off, so no monotonicity is here realized because the curve is not existing here, there is only vertical line on this indifference curve. And when you are looking to the marginal rate of substitution regarding to these lines, you are seeing the uh, PowerPoints, uh, you are following? Yes, Sergeant. Okay, yes. the marginal rate of substitution, as you are understanding, it is, of course, how much you are willing to substitute or give up to get more Y. If you want to give up some X to get more way, why, then this will then, of course, the substitution effect. We call this marginal rate of substitution, which means you have to give up some x or y to get some y or x, vice versa, bilaterally is possible. Therefore, you have to give up x, some x to get some more y, so-called. It is the increasing good x that the consumer would require in exchange 
for a in good way in our in order to leave the consumer indifference between consuming the old basket or the new basket which means you have to give up something to get something you understand because it is uh, like this since you don't have too much income for consuming all for your preferences and for your uh, taste then you have to of course determine between the existing uh, options to get what and how much and when we are looking this as a real uh, uh, formula the marginal rate of substitution is equal to the delta y over delta x which means the difference between y and x will gives us this uh, marginal rate of substitution of this indifference as you are observing in the graphic it is the rate exchange between good x and y that does not affect the consumer's welfare because on the indifference curve you are always having the same satisfaction or taste regarding to these preferences and when we are looking to the indifference curve which is illustrated below the a and b as i mentioned before is of course offering the similar satisfaction but with different combination of x and y which is illustrated on the graphic as a and b where the indifference curve is tangent at a and b to the budget constraint at different points the budget constraint is of course here or budget line is of course here illustrating your income and your income can be combined or combined between x and y either at b or a which is no matter and not of course causing you any problem you have the similar satisfaction at that level the following in difference curve what is the marginal rate of substitution between x and y is supposed to be illustrated here as i mentioned to you the indifference curve one the indifference curve uh, uh, two and and indifference curve c three sorry are of course representing the higher level of satisfaction because this indifference curve is a line is a, a linear line and it can be illustrated with the level of satisfaction which is increasingly realized as much as you are shifting towards away sorry over away from the origin and when we are looking here if the utility function is equal to x multiplied y the graphic will be as it is given here as uh, you can give the numbers to x and y and you will see the uh, equation how it is changing if we give for example x 2 and 5 y is 5 and x 2 then multiplied will become if your utility is 10 supposed to be the utility is amount 10 if you give 10 as it is given in the example then the other option can be 5 multiplied to 2 then you can replace this either towards to the y or towards to the x which is in the first case y is increasing and the second case the amount is increasing but the satisfaction level is not changing it is stay intact and it is becoming equally distributed on this indifference curve and if the indifference curve increasing to the 20 then you are understanding then you have probably the income increase because we didn't put already the budget constraint on this graphic or you have some other preferences because of the price changing probably either x or y prices is reduced and when it is realized in this direction then you are understanding you are following this uh, graphic yes i think you see yes uh, okay then here as i mentioned to you uh, in difference curve 20 which is the utility is 20 is higher than in difference curve or utility function which is 10 in this direction you are expecting either the price changes is realized which means either x or y is reduced 
or the income, the budget line, which is not on this graphic, is illustrated, is expected to be increased, maybe 10% increase or 20% increase and shift this uh, utility function to the upper level. And when you are looking to this marginal utility and marginal rate of substitution, we are having here this equation, the marginal utility of X, which is given in the graphic, is supposed to be delta X multiplied and plus marginal utility of Y. You are seeing these equations is the multiplied with delta Y is supposed to be equal to zero along this indifference curve. And since it is so, if we replace this uh, equation, cross multiplying or dividing each other, if you're dividing mar marginal utility of X to each other, and you will get this equation, marginal utility of X over marginal utility of Y is equal to delta Y over delta X, isn't it? Then this will then gives you the marginal rate of substitution of X to Y which is the utility function between X and Y. And then we are putting this delta U as a delta U, as the derivation of this graphic. The derivation of this graphic or this equation will gives you the delta U over delta X multiplied delta X plus delta U over delta X multiplied delta, uh, delta Y is equal to zero, which is the derivation illustration. And when you take this derivation, then you will have the, of course, once again, this uh, marginal rate of substitution as minus delta Y over delta X is equal to delta U over delta X divided to delta U over delta Y. Therefore, this can be written in this direction as you are observing. It is not given anymore. I, I stopped here, I think. Then, then, of course, the marginal rate of substitution is then, of course, can be... Uh, illustrated with this uh, equation which we are going to use for estimating the differences or derivation of the delta u over delta x can be equal to delta u over delta y after we are going to represent this as marginal utility of x over marginal utility of y which is the upper part and marginal utility of x over marginal utility of y is equal to delta y over delta x, which is going to be, of course, uh, uh, summarized after you are going to uh, estimate with the mathematical uh, representation. Then you will have this marginal utility of x is equal over marginal utility of y is equal to delta y over delta x, which is, of course, negative uh, form represented. The marginal utility and marginal rate of substitution, of course, is the positive marginal utility implies the indifference curve has a negative slope, is monotonicity, of course, and diminishing marginal utility implies the difference curve, the indifference curve, sorry, are convex to the origin because since it is convex, as much as you are reducing the y, you will get more x. This is becoming uh, of this convex position of the graphic. And here again, I put the example for you. The, as of course, not numerical. The U is supposed to be AX square plus BY square is supposed to be given. And when you want to get the marginal utility for X, then this will be okay. This will be, so, sorry, will be equal to 2AX, isn't it? Then you are getting the derivation. Delta y, delta u over delta x gives you the 2ax, and when you are getting the marginal utility of which is the derivation of delta y over delta x, then is equal to 2by. You understand here? You got this uh, example? Is clear this example for you? You're listening me? You see this example? Yes, we can see it. Okay. The marginal rate. I will repeat it, okay. U as a utility function is given here is equal to A is X power of 2 plus B Y power of 2 is then, of course, equally distributed. The marginal utility for X is as the delta Y, delta U over delta X is the derivation of this, this um, equation for the X then will be 
two ax when you are getting the derivation, and for the y when you are getting this marginal utility for y, it is of course again the derivation for delta u over delta x, delta y. Sorry, this will be then equal to b, where b is supposed to positive intercept or coefficient, and marginal rate of substitution x to y is then of course represent marginal utility divided to marginal utility y is equal to ax to 2 by <coughs> <coughs> then this is then equal to ax over by the marginal utility are positive for positive x and y which is supposed to be and marginal utility of x increases in x and marginal of y increases in y as it is given in this example therefore Implication of this in difference curve are negatively sloped, bowed out from the origin, and preference direction is up and right, and in difference curve intersect the axis. Okay. Let me go further. Let me do this in difference curve with increasing marginal rate of x to y substitution. Then if the marginal rate of x to y is higher at basket h, then at basket g, where we put this graphic before then the slope of indifference curve u1 will be more negative slipper at h than at <coughs> curve <coughs> sorry <coughs> curve u1 will be more negative stepper at h than at g thus with increasing marginal rate of substitution x to y the indifference curve will be both away from the origin which means you are increasing and enlarging this indifference curve towards away from the origin. If we are giving here an example for being able to understand this, let's see this example. Consider what happens when a utility function has an increasing marginal rate of substitution. Problem suppose a consumer's preferences between, <coughs> between problem suppose a consumer preferences between two goods X and Y represent the utility function which is given u is equal to ax2 and b plus b y where a and b is supposed to be positive intercept for this utility function marginal utility x is 2 a x of course this is the power of and marginal utility y is then the 2b power of which we done it before and the, the marginal rate of x and y is increasing as it is in the former example the solution since both marginal utility of x and marginal utility of y are positive in difference curve will be negatively sloped because it is so you are increasing something and of course reducing something this means that as an amount of x is increases along an indifference curve y must decrease compared to x as an amount more we know that marginal rate of substitution x to y is equal to marginal utility of x divided to marginal utility of y is equal to 2ax over 2by. Therefore, this means that as we move along the indifference curve, by increasing and decreasing y, marginal rate of x to y will increase. So we have an increasing marginal rate of substitution of x for y. In this case, then we will illustrate the difference curve for this utility function with increasing marginal rate of x to y. They all away from the origin, which is concave, of course, now. Then let's see this. Of course, you can follow this in your book with this problem 10 and 311, which is, of course, uh, good to understand what they're doing. And this is concave because increasing marginal rate of substitution is supposed to be realized between x and y if the marginal rate of x, x to y is the higher at basket h then at the basket g the slope of the indifferent curve u1 will be more negative isn't it and so the end of course it is becoming more stepper because as you see it is stepper means more vertical and when you are looking to the g is more horizontal therefore g is supposed to be more horizontal and h will be more vertical thus with increasing marginal rate of x to y the indifference curve will be both away from the origin as it is 
opposite direction illustrated. Not it is convex, it is concave now, isn't it? As you are observing here, because it is increasing uh, differences realized between X and Y. And when we are looking to this example, you see if the utility function is now X multiplied Y is the power of 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5, then the marginal utility function can be illustrated for x and y as 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 follow marginal utility x is equal to y over or y power of 0 0.5 is divided to 2 x 0 0.5 then the marginal utility of you this is the derivation that that we are taking delta u over delta x if you don't know how it is going to be taken you write me mail then i will show you how the derivations realize and the marginal utility of y x of course is the illustration of the delta u over delta y, which means x power of 0 0.5 is divided to 2y 0.5 is better. This question is more better for this uh, case is satisfied or no. Since marginal utility are positive for both, then yes, we may say an odd marginal utility for x and y is diminishing is question. Yes, we have to answer for the A because X is increasing for Y constant and MU X is falling. Since Y is a numerator and X is the denominator, then what is happening? Because it is increasing, isn't it? If you are increasing Y, this will cause higher marginal utility for the marginal utility of X. Therefore, you have to see this um, because the position of numerator of Y and uh, denominator for the X is of course causing this uh, reduction. We are looking to the, what is the marginal rate of substitution of X to Y? Is then of course marginal rate of X to Y is equal to marginal utility of X over marginal utility of Y is equal to Y over y power of 0 0.2, 0 0.5, sorry, is divided to 2x 0 0.5, then will be divided because we are taking this marginal utility functions for x and y, then x power of 0 0.5 will be divided to 2y 0 0.5, then this then will be summarized as y over x, as you are observing here in this example, and do the interference curve intersect the axis, then the value of x is zero and y is zero. This is of course inconsistent with a positive level of utility. Can we say because when you are dividing it zero, or when you divide zero to something, then it of course becomes zero. Oops, sir. Then we move to the uh, graphical illustration for this. As you are seeing, it is of course it is now connects to the origin and it is moving. Uh, towards the origin. And graphing inference curve is, of course, as I mentioned to you, as much as you go up, you are enlarging it and increasing its uh, uh, satisfaction. When we are concentrating to the uh, Cobb-Douglas, you know Cobb-Douglas population, I think, x power of alpha, y power of beta is the, of course, Cobb-Douglas equation which we are using for the uh, production function. Here we are illustrating this as the uh, utility. Then utility is supposed to be A multiplied, A is a coefficient here, multiplied with X power of alpha, multiplied with pa Y power of beta. And where here it is supposed to be A and B is a, uh, equal to one, and A and B is a positive constant. And since you know if it is, a and B equal to one. This means there is, of course, constant relationship. If it is higher, then there is increasing relationship for the cop I am talking about. And if it is A alpha bet plus beta is less than one, then this is, of course, decreasing function and decreasing amount of increase realized in this direction. And marginal utility of X is equal to alpha multiplied with the A X alpha minus, because we are taking the derivation here, as you are observing, alpha minus 1 is multiplied with y beta. And marginal utility of y, the derivation delta u over delta y, then is, of course, beta 
R is of course should be larger uh, capital is of course x alpha y beta minus power of p beta minus one is the equation for this um, graphic here a is a little bit slow small it should be larger and the marginal rate of substitution for x to y then is of course delta y over delta sorry beta x is illustrated the marginal rate of substitution only depends on the ratio of x and y not on the total amount of x and y of course so in difference curve for different levels of utility look identical to each other no matter how far away from the origin they are moving therefore when we are illustrating this it is of course dependent to the substitution of complete effects ml effect substitution effect u is equal to ax plus p very important when we again taking this marginal utility of x which means delta u over delta x is equal to a when you get the derivation for x and by taking this delta u over y therefore delta u y then this of course this means the delta u over delta y which is the marginal utility derivation is of course giving here the b the marginal rate of substitution for x for y is equal to then a over b then so that the one unit of x is equal to b over a unit of y everywhere it is supposed to be constant marginal rate of substitution realized because there is two intercept here which we are calculating or estimating for this which is changing one unit equal change to the others marginal rate of substitution depends on the ratio of a and b not on the total amount of x and y therefore as much as you change the coefficient the amount of x and y be changed therefore depending to your coefficient which you are going to calculate or estimate in this equation or which is going to put in this equation so in difference for level of utility look identical not how far away from the origin they are and as you are observing here the perfect substitute is a linear equation and linear graphic as you see here it is supposed to be in difference curve one in difference curve two and in difference curve three is of course the slope is the intercept only minus a or b which is of course a line not a uh, curve not nonlinear it is a linear equation a linear curve here illustrated you are opening this graphic hope so okay the perfect compliance of course after the substitution then we may put here again this uh, uh, equation u equal to minimum alpha multiplied x and beta multiplied y where a and alpha and beta are positive constant and minimum means take the smaller of two two constants which means you want eight o's of coffee with one o's of cream is the coefficient x and eight y where x is the cream y is the coffee so the coefficient will be then of course replace with this given example x over y then this is then of course represented with alpha over b is equal to one over eight is the fixed proportion there are the marginal rate of substitution is zero or infinite or undefined and it can be illustrated with this direction which is perfectly complement we are concentrating this as much as you are in increasing y is this this should be of course dependent to this complement effect you have to increase either if it's going to be enlarged and because therefore complement graphic is of course illustrated as a uh, degree line can we say the perfect complement therefore then is shifting away or moving away from the origin as much as you are increasing this indifference curve combination regarding to the price changes or regarding to your income changes where the alpha and beta as an intercept is shifting and of course enlarging it 
as much as possible. And quasi-linear preferences, which is non-linear, then of course here we are giving again the u is equal to vx plus ay, where a is a positive uh, constant and marginal utility of x supposed to be is the vector v, x is equal to delta v, x over the x, then delta v over delta x, where delta small and marginal u2 of y is equal to a. The only thing that determine, determines you, that determines your personal trade-off between x and y is how much x you have and how much you are going to enlarge it because the only variable here that you are going to concentrate is, of course, is supposed to be concentrated to the x. And when you are representing this quasi-linear, as you see, the cost affecting and changing the margin restitution diminishes at the quantity of x increase, but does not depend on the quantity of y, as I mentioned to you, because it is directly concentrated to the x. And the quasi-linear preferences consumption of beverages is illustrated as the indifference as the upper level because of this intersex of course, the indifference curve is shifting upper level where your budget line is also shifted and of course enlarged depending to your price or income changes. The income uh, indifference curve is the same slope, but it is of course a vertical line for the y is subjected. The summarized uh, so not tam exactly summarized of this class, but can be given as the consumer preferences without any restriction imposed by the budget, which means the indifference curve is directly related with your budget line, with your budget constraint, and of course your combination of your uh, basket of goods where X and Y here is as a, a scenario illustrated. Therefore, you are exercising every budget line on this scenario. Minimal ordinal utility, as I mentioned to you, is subjected here. Therefore, you exercise and introduce, uh, you become introduced with this uh, utility function and budget line and of course demand and of course consumer preferences subjected. In this direction you learn how the utility is changing and affecting our preferences and how the preferences affect and changing depending totally to your expectation of uh, combination. Therefore in this picture we have done this uh, and combined this utility function with the demand curve. And the next lecture, we will start to exercise more utility and more estimation on the utility function where it is more comprehensively given to you. If you have any question, you will ask me. If you don't, then I will stop this uh, class here and we go to the next class after exam. Do you have any question? If you have any question, please ask me. If you don't, then... No. Uh, which chapters is going to be in the test? I said to you, you are going to concentrate to the first chapter, the demand, demand that I given to you, supply demand, choice, demand, demand theory that I have given to you. Demand theory and what? Three. And three chapters. Okay. I have okay. given to you the first chapter, these uh, tools. You remember? Okay, sir. thank you. And then supply demand curve, the movements on the supply demand and how it is affecting and changing the demand curve. And then I gave you the theory of demand last lecture. And today I gave you of utility or choice of. Uh, 
demand yeah, picture after the test if you are studying. But mostly I will concentrate to these uh, PowerPoints and of course the book that I have uh, advised you to use for your classes. The Bräutigam, sorry, uh, this uh, Carbaus uh, world, your, sorry, this Bräutigam's books, you have to concentrate it for the micro. You can use some others, but uh, Bräutigam's book is probably the most early we are using in this class because Thank it is very expensively given to you. Yes? Thank you. If you don't have any question, uh, stop this. Is clear? If you don't have, I stop. Okay, see you the next week on Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Don't forget to come to the class because we will have the test. Okay? Uh, Is it so clear? For the, test, for the test, I want yes, to ask sir. a question. Like when you show the questions on the PowerPoint, are we going to be writing yeah. on paper or? Yeah. No, you write all of us and take the picture, and after finishing this exam, you send it to me. Okay. Or you send all email to me this after the class finish, after one hour, maximum after an hour or after half an hour, or online, you can send me to WhatsApp. But mail is fair. Okay, you send me all get them. I think in a mail is better. Okay, this is the best okay. If you wait and send it to me after an hour in the night, it's not accepted. You have to send it after an hour, please, because this is the exam. Is clear? Yes, it's clear. Is okay? Yes. Okay, then see you then. I'm finishing down the class. Okay, bye bye. See you then. Bye-bye.